Hi, I'm Uncle Mark. Welcome to the channel. We're just camping and I noticed where are these bugs coming from? They're all over the place. Don't have any doors open. Then I noticed uh, one of the skylights, uh, one of your vents that you can crank open. Look up there and, well, the screen on one side, you could probably stick your hand in it. Uh, got really old and brittle, I guess, and the plastic's kind of broken away. And can the bugs come in? So what I'm going to try and do is fix it pretty much for free until that doesn't work and it crumbles a little bit more and then I'll probably fix it again. I had a couple different ideas. I'm going to show you uh, one of them. There's going to be some skippable chapters here just uh, because I didn't have the right kind of glue for plan A to work. So we went quickly to plan B. Took it camping after that. It was fine. Let's get right to the video. So taking a quick little look-see and you see how this plastic I'll show you a better angle later, but it's kind of hanging down a little bit, looks jagged. It's busted and come away. So I figured the only way to get out of it is to start taking it apart. So I figured I'll take the crank out first. I'm just using a Phillips screwdriver. I imagine you've got the same kind of screws on yours. Maybe you have Torx. I don't know. Take a look at them. It's just normal Phillips. Don't drop the screw just like I did. That's what the little crank looks like. It's just plastic. It'll be similar. And then I take this outside trim off as well. Same kind of screws. See there's a little crack there. Not gonna worry about that this time. It's not affecting flies or bugs. Though so just fairly easy. Take them out. It'd be nice if a person had an extra set of hands. Because this is pretty flimsy plastic, I'll show you. And this thing is, what, 10, 12, 15 years old now? Who knows how old yours is? Could break it real easily. Now the next part is this thing here. And it's just, I thought it might have screws, but it looks like it's just a couple of clips that hold it in there. Oh. I got the one side out. Try and get the other side out. And this is pretty brittle stuff. Oh, junk falling everywhere. So you can kind of see the little fingers here or hooks they have. I'll steady it. You see right there, there's two of them. And of course, on the other side has the same and the plastic just kind of hooks into them. And hook right into there. And I'll tell you right now, I screwed up. Okay, well, let's take a look first at the crack. You see how bad that is? I guess a person could just use duct tape or whatever. I thought I wanted it a little more permanent. So I thought, why not get a little piece of plastic and just glue it on there, make it like a 45 degree angle. So the plastic I figured I'd use, this is plan A, was just the margarine container. Usually they're kicking around, I had the bigger margarine container. And I thought I would glue the yellow side onto that so that the white is showing. Not understanding that actually I have this upside down. So basically what I'm doing is trying to heat it up so I can bend it. I just want to kind of bend it in half. No way. Which again is easier. If a person had an extra person to hold a jig or hold this steel ruler. Two man job. Then I was trying to figure out how hot to make it. Didn't want it bubbling. I just wanted it hot enough that if I bend it and then it cools, I've got that angle. So I was doing this with our recycling bin and the lip there. Then I used the steel ruler, tried to push it up a little bit. And I don't know if I was making it hot enough yet. It is slowly getting that angle. So the more I played with it, the better the angle got. So I'll just show you a couple more ways that this was working and it should have worked and could have worked and maybe next time will work. But you got some leather gloves out, something that I can take the heat with. Yeah. 
just happen to have a brick like from a fireplace so I could kind of squeeze it down I guess I could have used anything and could have stood on it with my shoe but you can see I'm slowly getting that kind of an angle so I want to be able to glue this on two sides so basically I'm just trying to get that angle 45 degree and then if I can sit it on top of the broken piece and glue the other side on top of the piece that's not broken and I was trying to use a well this was actually Gorilla Glue and it's not their fault but I really should have used probably an epoxy two-part epoxy because it didn't seem to want to melt this type of plastic properly so my fault I did play around a little bit here and I failed but at least you see the idea that could have worked but didn't so we'll that's where I tried to hold it down and it just, it wouldn't melt the, the plastic properly. So I figured, okay, well, it was a good try. Let's go to plan B. This will be a little easier. It won't be as pretty. And like I say, I'm taking it for granted that this is the side you're going to see. But it's actually this side that you're going to see from underneath. Does that make sense to you? So... What ends up here is all my caulking is going to be seen when you look up at this vent. I guess I did it from the wrong side, in theory. So I just smeared it down. I used a little bit of masking tape just so then it didn't go onto the screen. I've got masking tape on the other side so it doesn't kind of go through the holes. Actually, there was one little hole here too, so I'm just going to kind of fill it. I didn't try and price this out. I imagine that you have to buy this in the vent. Like it's a three piece or four piece item, I'm thinking. Probably will price it out later on and see if I can get one just because I like to keep the trailer in half decent shape. You know what it's like, let one thing break, then everything breaks. So like I say, this is the side that I thought you're not gonna see. But when I put it in here, I thought it goes this way, where the screen is closest to the actual hatch. <laughs> Tried a couple times, and it's like, well, why won't it clip? And if you look, you can see why I won't it clip. Because <coughs> I have it up, uh, upside down. Oh, well. Live and learn. I'll know for next yeah, time. Again, kind of... It'd be nice to have an extra set of hands because this plastic is really flimsy and this plastic is old now. This trailer is a 90, no, 2008. And I'm recording this 2022. You'll see how these things just clip in. Should just click. It's hard to click them in and film it, but. You get the idea. I'll set you back down here. Then I put this trim piece on, put the screws back in. Of course, I just kind of loosely put a few of them in just to hold it up. And then I tighten it down. And again, it's not a heavy piece, so it's just, they don't have to be super tight. And it's just going into some cheap particle board. And you can see, well, oh, you can see that mess from this side, but what else are you going to do? Just don't tell people to look up into your skylight. Put the handle back on, and it's pretty much done. So uh, that's what I ended up doing, uh, just using a little bit of caulking that I had kicking around, and it seemed to help it for now. We'll have to see how long it lasts if the plastic breaks in other places. I would like it to be a little bit stronger. Anyway, if you like this video, you can give me the thumbs up if you don't mind. You can also subscribe down in the corner there. And I'll uh, put a playlist right up here on other videos dealing with trailers, campers, that kind of thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, you and your family stay safe. Bye-bye from Uncle Mark. Plus... Please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.
And one last behind the scenes, just uh, I had my tripod sitting on a water cooler and uh, you see my light hanging there too. That's how I did it.